know about that. What? Kids start studying too much, get to an A in some subject, that could spell trouble. Trouble? What are you talking about, Barney? Well, it could start a whole chain of events. If the kid gets an A in one subject, he'll want more A's. Start staying up late at night studying, straining his eyes. Before you know it, he'll need glasses. Probably start losing weight, too. <laughs> Don Knotts played one of the most iconic characters in TV history, Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show. Much has been written about his career, but not much about the man himself. In the book Tied Up in Knots, My Dad and Me, Don's daughter Karen gives lots of insight into the father she loves so much. She's a stand-up comedian who tours the country with her one-woman show about living and working with her dad. And she joins us this morning. Thanks for being with us. Oh, <laughs> hi there. Hi. <laughs> That expression would looked very familiar when you did that. <laughs> that was one of your dad's famous expressions. I, I, you talk about him with such love. We're curious how much the character of Barney Fife might have at all been like Don Knotts, the dad. You know, that's one reason I wrote the book, because people were confusing my dad with the actual character he played. And I wanted, I always wanted people to know what my, my real father was actually like he was an amazing character himself and he was so funny he was a great dad he was he had some he was really funny all the time but not but in a different way than barney fife yeah yeah that show um the andy griffith show 30 years after it aired was getting great ratings preceding this show i mean it just had such staying power where did he come up with the character of this nervous guy because he had played that prior in other things as well well, he he did have he had this nervous guy character from the the Steve Allen show, which was live television, and it just sort of morphed into that. He was actually quite famous before yeah. he even got on the Andy Griffith show with the Steve Allen show. But now people don't remember that anymore because that was so long ago. But um, he did the faces, you know, and yeah, <laughs> all those faces. <laughs> Now, did, in the book, you have a lot of uh, celebrities talking about your dad. Uh, I'm just listing a few. Ron Howard, who played Opie. Tim Conway, who you worked with in a lot of movies. Andy Griffith. Jim Carrey. Talk about yeah. some of your favorite uh, memories that some of those celebrities shared with you. Oh, I love talking to Jim Carrey. He, you know, he was such a big fan of my dad's. And my dad used to say, Jim Carrey's a big fan of mine, you know, big fan of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and when you no. see some yeah. of the facial expressions that, that Jim Carrey does, is did he say that's kind of based on your dad? Probably. I mean, he was influenced. I know he was influenced by him. He talked about being uh, in his aunt's floor in the kitchen watching the incredible Mr. Limpet, you know. And I was so excited to interview Jim Carrey. He's like, wow, I get to talk to Jim Carrey. And Jim Carrey was so excited to talk about my dad, I couldn't get my questions in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Finally, he relaxed. My knees stopped shaking. <laughs> I was able to ask about Mr. Limpet because there was a rumor going around that he was going to do a remake of Limpet, which, of course, never happened. And so he told me the answer re really why that didn't happen. Oh, and so, you know, he left Andy Griffith to go do movies. And then we, some, some of us remember him from Three's Company. How did... Uh, how did he deal with the success that he had through the different generations? Well, um, you know, for an actor, it's always up and down. I mean, we see them as famous, you know, right. oh, they're famous, they have no worries, they have no problems. But he went through a lot of um, insecurities. For one thing, he had macular degeneration, which left him partially blind. Oh. But he continued working when he was on Three's Company. He wore these big glasses. I called them bat glasses. I teased him. <laughs> he looked like Batman. Right. But he had glare from the macular degeneration, oh. but he kept working and even doing stage plays and everything. I went on the road with him and he was he was so wonderful. He overcame all that. It's well, well and you also do a live stage show where you talk about your dad, right, Karen? I do. It's also called Tied Up in Knots. Um, and it was the publisher decided to go with that same title for my book, but the, the show is actually different from the book. The show is much more comedic in nature, and I do a lot of characters, and I do him, and I talk about, you know, how, how his childhood developed, which was so traumatic, 
and he, he did have a lot of fears and that's probably where that nervousness came from. Mm. He had a, a paranoid schizophrenic father. <laughs> he had two older brothers that were alcoholics, although he got his comedy influence from one of those brothers whose nickname was Shadow because he was so skinny, he didn't have one. Wow. And he, he just had a lot, it was during the Great Depression, you know. Well, wow. you speak of him with such love. You can just tell you had a wonderful relationship. Uh, for more, you can check out Karen Knotts on the, all the social medias, and uh, the information is on your screen. Karen, pleasure to talk to you. Thanks, Karen. Thank you for having me.